the Servi Mart, the Servi Mart, I 100% I guarantee that I'll be patronizing your Mart tomorrow. I really, really appreciate the water. It's very kind of you. I'll buy beer. I'll buy some of those um, microwave burritos and all that other kind of fun food mart stuff from the gas station. I'll even buy gas from you tomorrow. Mr. Murphy. I hope I get to meet you in person tomorrow. Thanks again. And that, it's my first shower here in Chatham. Cape Cod. While spending some time in Chatham, Cape Cod, Massachusetts, to get some kiteboarding in, I had pulled up to a gas station, Maservi Mart, to take a quick shower. Uh, Mr. Maservi himself, the owner of the Mart, did actually show up while I was taking a shower. Uh, but I had the camera off and I was a little bit too embarrassed to turn it back on and get that shot. So I don't have that available to you. But what happened was, while I was hanging out with Mr. Maservi and his friends, uh, it was suggested to me that I go up to Maine and introduce myself to this couple who is building houses for those in need. The person who suggested it was this man's son. And I'd like to introduce to you Andrew and Erica. So what's happening right now is called milling the wood. So what they're doing is um, Andrew and Erica, they actually took wood that they cut down, or trees that they cut down, and are sizing them up and cutting them into what's going to be perfectly shaped wood, cut wood, for the house. I think basically uh, it started back in 1978 and my wife, are you on? Yep. Yeah, my wife of 19 years, um, her and I had a vision and that was to build cabins for our friends that were, we knew were, a lot of them were wayfaring, they were traveling throughout the country. And, um, and also people that we had never met before, just to have a place that someone, if they needed a place to live, uh, we would um, have something for them. To enjoy each other's company, to get to know each other, and just have availability uh, for for different folks, so. The idea started to take shape in 1980 after Andrew and his first wife, Deborah, bought some land and laid their first foundation on the coast of Maine. But within two and a half years, something tragic happened that emotionally forced him to put the project on hold. My wife developed uh, cancer and um, two and a half years later, she passed in 1993, so that, that whole Vision obviously was put on a shelf shelf because she was a part of that in their early years Andrew and his late wife traveled the country mostly by foot sharing their faith as missionaries Later continuing their mission with six children in a van Sharing his time and resources with others is nothing new to him But just didn't have the emotional capacity to fulfill what was their dream at the time But anyway, um, it came to me back in uh, 2000 of this initial vision that Deb and I had. And so we, um, in 2001, I told my boys, I said, let's go to Maine and go buy a piece of property. And so they did. In 2002, their plans on building a 24 by 24 foot cabin with a 12 degree pitch began to take shape. These were the original plans they had drawn up, but it's with his wife now, Erica, that he has someone to share this incredible gift with. What we try to do, consider the other person before we consider ourselves. Just having a heart of like selflessness so that when you're in a position to give, your heart is prepared to give. It wasn't long after getting to know Andrew and Erica to notice that they are truly happy to share what they have to give. Without question, they shared their entire house with me, even fed me all week giving me the peace of mind I needed while filming this experience. So I just want to document my situation right now. After filming all day, I am uh, hanging out in the back seat with Erica and Andrew. I'm eating a fine apple from, uh, from Fiji. A nice <laughs> Fiji apple. Oh, it's a good day, really good day. Because of the tremendous shift they have seen in America, 
They believe that it is more important now than ever to help build one another up. But it's a life lived. But this life is so rewarding because, because as what Erica was saying, the more you water others, the more you feed others, the more than you are fed. Because there's a law in our, in our world, and that is you reap what you sow. So if you sow good things in your life, you're always going to reap good things. Acts of selflessness or doing something out of kindness is an act of love, and love has feet. It's nice to say, like, oh, I love you, and that's, that's wonderful. Like, words are important. But love has feet. Love is an action word. And so everything that we do for one another or for other people really is like a demonstration of that, that love has feet. And with only $4,000 invested into this entire cabin, it is now ready to house someone in need. Whether it be a single person or family, Andrew and Erica's only wish is that this space gives them the opportunity to grow as an individual while taking the time to build the best version of themselves. We're in the, vi we're in the cabin now taking a video and this is my dear friend Jock and uh, he is uh, considering him and his wife and uh, two sons and two daughters are considering moving up here. Erica and Andrew, I want to thank you so much for giving me this experience and allowing me to share your story with the world. You are going to inspire so many people just as much as you have already inspired me. For those who are watching, please leave a comment below. I want to know what kind of impact this video made on you today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.